Hello, dear friends! Good evening! As usual, here is Guzel Kastena and Sergei Kastena. Glad to see everyone! This is our penultimate day and we need to leave you for a while, but it's not going to be for long, I swear. Today we will have an incredible author of textile dolls, in my opinion. And she is also a person of a good taste. She makes incredible textile dolls and we collaborate with her with a great pleasure. Here comes Irina Tomaszewska. Make her feel welcome. Irina, it's your time now! Hello, dear friends! I'm really glad we've met during this wonderful festival. First of all, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to organizers of such a wonderful event, Sergei and Guzel. Thank you for your invitation to make an address. I'm so pleased to be among wonderful authors in two weeks. Thanks a lot, dear friends, for coming today to spend an evening with me and to talk about textile dolls. Let me speak about how our today's meeting will be going on. First of all, I'll tell a little about myself. I show my works and my students' works. Then we will speak about sources of inspiration for handicraft women. And then I'll show you a little and useful workshop you could apply on your toys as well. In the end, I'll tell you about a new tutorial. If you'd like it, you can buy it. Let's start. I'm Irina Tomaszewska. I'm a textile doll and toy master. I frequently ask how did I start to make toys, draws. It's happened not long ago. I've never studied in art school and art colleges, but I always wanted to make something by myself. Since the age of 12 I used to sew clothes and the little interior objects. Then, when I started to walk, unfortunately I had no time for a candy craft. Thanks to the internet I knew it was possible to create very interesting toys from textile. I tried and I got addicted. The textile doll creation process is very exciting. At the same time you could be a seamstress, a fashion designer, an artist and even a shoemaker. I am so glad when I've managed to involve into this handicraft some other people. That's why I lead wife workshops and online tutorials to share my secrets and experience with other handicraft women. Now, let me show you how I've started and what kind of toys I'm making right now. This is the first doll I made, Shapoklak, a crush hat. I made it in the beginning of the 2013 at my own pattern from the internet. I made a gift to one of my friends. He liked that doll a lot. So I'd wanted to sew something else. Then I made a tilde bunny with eye dots. And I understood I want my toys to be more alive. So first I started to experiment with drawn eyes. That was my very first ship. Then there were many horses, because in 2013 everyone was preparing to 2014, the year of a horse. That was my very first horse. Then there were these horses with uh, cartoon-like snouts and many horses with narrow, realistic snouts. Approximately at the same time I got addicted to textile dolls with drawn face and I made my first angel toy. Unfortunately, that wasn't the face I imagined. I was so upset, I felt I had no talent as an artist, so I decided to try it again only one year later. But I didn't stop sewing. So these elephants appeared. Then my elephants changed a little. Now they look like this. In the beginning of 2014 I sewed these dolls with round heads and round faces. Of course I wasn't satisfied by the quality. 
As you see, I made many steps before I started to make these toys as I made them now. I made mistakes, searched where to study, so it just happened that I made a progress by myself. I show you some other creatures I made in 2014. Cats. They appeared thanks to my customer, a woman of fashion and a cat admirer. There is a ship. In 2014, craftswomen from all over the world made billion ship because we prepared for the year of ship. Of course, my ship got changed in this year. I made a good pattern, many models of clothes, and I made even wedding ship. These couples is a very popular accessory for wedding photo sessions. I experimented with patterns, sizes and images. I gave an online tutorial about souvenir ship. Several dozens of people took part in it. I made these funny girls. They're a symbol of 2015 too. I made my first PDF workshop how to make them. Also, I taught girls to make these girls offline. Look. They are gorgeous. In the beginning of 2015, I decided to draw those faces. I used all experience I had. I watched many free online materials in the internet and dozens of YouTube videos, analyzed a face's anatomy and its proportions. And finally, I did it! As soon as I published a photo of my very first successful doll, I got many questions how I've done it. I was so many times asked about how to draw a face, so I had no options. I made a tutorial about an angel doll. First, it was offline tutorial. Look, my students are so gifted. That was a tutorial of some lessons. These are very first doll, almost for all of them. I became convinced that the most important thing in drawing process is to explain how to do everything. And I can do it. Of course, many craftswomen from other cities wanted to make dolls themselves and draw pretty faces. But they cannot come to my city. That is how the idea to make a video tutorial was born. I'd like to show you my students' crafts. This is a doll by Irina Gaiterova. A pretty face and a complicated dress with a skirt of hundreds of petals, colored by hands. This is a doll by Tatiana Abihod. She was surprised by herself how easy she managed to create a required volume of a face by drawing. And she didn't go to art school. This is a result of some weeks study through the internet. Olga Muracheva made that doll. This is her first one. It's gorgeous. A doll by Victoria Kovalova. A wonderful face. Tatiana Savage made two girls of different characters. Irina Neupakova has an entire family of dolls and even a mermaid. A doll by Ludmila Murashka. She creates not only real beauties, but she makes wonderful photos. She made many dolls. This is an angel and a shepherd. And this is an artist and his muse, a fair lady. Then I made a doll with moving joints in knees, a textile of ball joints. I made a removable clothes for the doll. Look, we can make different images. I made an entire PDF and video tutorial about how to make this doll. All my students say this is the one of the most comprehensive tutorials they've ever met. These are the first dolls by Natalia Chmir. I'm sure each next doll will going to be more beautiful. This is a fairy princess by Uliana Nasonova. First dolls by Natalia Zhuk. 
This is Irina Popova and her beauties. So, my students' works are fabulous. And I myself learn now to draw different faces, to give a character to each doll and make the, these panels. Angels portraits and these dolls. I don't know what I'm going to do further, but I have like billions of ideas. Now, let's speak about sources of inspiration. Holidays are one of them. New Year, for example. This is a favorite holiday for many people, an occasion to meet friends and relatives and get and receive many presents. Recently, in tradition in Russia appeared, follow a Chinese zodiac. What is that? There is an ancient legend that says Buddha called for animals before leaving the earth forever. But only 12 of them came to say goodbye to him. And Buddha gave each of them a year of a rain in order they've come to Buddha. A rat, an ox, a tiger, a rabbit, a dragon, a snake, a horse, a god, monkey, a rooster, a dog and a pig. And of course it is a tradition to give mascots a symbol of the new year. What does it mean for craftswomen? Of course a brilliant possibility to create. Even if hundred women decide to create a monkey, we're gonna have hundred different monkeys. Let's see how a Chinese zodiac will be realized in textile dolls. Are you interested? We'll start with the year of a rooster. Look, these quilt roosters are so gorgeous. It is difficult for me to choose only a few pictures. And these beauties, unbelievable, they were made from a fabric. Look at representatives of the year of a dog. They're so different. The next is the year of a pig. <laughs> Women saw these brutal handsomes. Oh, these cutie pigs. In the year of a rat, these coffee-colored toys and teddy rats appear. Even if you don't like live animals, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like these ones. After the year of a rat comes a year of an ox. Look, it is possible to create these kind of bulls from a textile. Cows are so charming. A year of a tiger, it's like a fair for someone who sows realistic animals with glassed eyes, clothes, whiskers and fur. But of course there is a space for Simple toys. These tigers make fall in love with them. The year of a rabbit is the most favorite one among craftswomen because everyone who saw toys made a rabbit once, at the very least. I made a couple of them. A bunny in red is mine. The year of a dragon is a mythology, fantasy attention to details and unlimited imagination. Sweet, cute dragons could be born in craftswomen hands. It seems difficult to imagine something complicated in the year of a snake, but an imagination could be a safety net. A year of horses coming, many rocking horses and Christmas decorations appears as well as much more complicated interior toys. I took part in preparation for the year of a horse with a great energy. Last year many beautiful sheep and goats were given and presented. There were many tilde sheep and these romantic ladies. I made sheep and goats. And now here comes 2016 is going to be the year of a monkey. Maybe you've noticed that women started to make monkeys and marmosets. I invented a pattern for a monkey and I've done this fashion lady from plush. 
and this is also a monkey from the fur. Later, I'll tell you about a new video tutorial dedicated to monkeys. Here comes the practical part. First, I plan to tell you how to make a simple souvenir. Then I saw, thought that a little workshop about making simple shoes will be much more useful. It takes only 20-30 minutes to make them. Let's start! We need scissors, a needle with a white needle eye, a glue moment crystal, a piece of cardboard to make shoe soles, a string or a narrow ribbon, a piece of an artificial leather or a felt. Any uncrumbling material will be suitable. If you had an ordinary fabric, it would be better to sew shoes in other way. First make a pattern. Attach a feet to a paper and then circle a feet. Measure the sole perimeter and a height of a shoe. A prepared pattern looks like this. A shoe sole is larger in one or two millimeters than encircled feet contour. A stripe has a length equal to perimeter of a circle plus uh, 15 millimeters. If your feet has a curve, make all details round. Cut details. From the cardboard, two details for shoe soles. From light leather, an upper detail, two pieces. From dark leather, two soles and a long narrow stripe of two or four millimeters. Stick soles details from the light leather and the cardboard. Make the center of a sole and of an upper detail. Put some glue on the sole edge. Start to stick from the toy piece. Try to attach a sole and an upper detail precisely. Don't leave allowances. Attention! An upper detail by a heel center is finished in 5 mm further from the center. Put some glue on the upper edge of the detail. Finish to stick a sole and stick a back seam overlapped. Stick a duck leather sole. It is supposed to be wider than a cardboard sole. It should close a joint with a light leather. Now we are up to close an ugly joint by a thin dark leather stripe. Put some glue on it. It shouldn't damage shoes. Stick a stripe around the whole perimeter of a sole. Let them dry for 10 minutes. Put them on feet. Take a needle and pass through a narrow ribbon. Make pleats on the front side of a boot. Make a place of a bootstrap. Make one stitch through. Tie in a bow. Cut excess ends. Cute shoes are ready! The whole process takes only 20-30 minutes. Of course, they are not real, but you can make them quickly and they are suitable for textile dolls and toys. Now, I'd like to tell you for whom I made this pair of shoes. Of course, for a monkey. Now, I'm going to tell you about my tutorial. This time it's a video tutorial. It is absolutely new type of work for me, but I hope you like it. As you've guessed already, it is available in Russian and in English. It is divided in 12 video lessons. So, a video tutorial, funny monkey. You need only two or three days and this step-by-step -step video tutorial to make this gorgeous beauty. Lesson number one. Materials and tools. You will learn what tools and materials you'll need to create the monkey. You can easily find everything you need in the nearest fabric shop and will not waste your time for an online shop order. Lesson number two. Cutting out. You will find out how to lay patterns properly on a fabric and fur, how to work with the fur, how to cut out correctly, sewing details. You'll learn how to connect the parts so they don't shift during sewing. 
You'll sew all details with the help of the sewing machine and prepare the body for filling. Legs. Lesson number four. You'll seam the legs parts and stuff them. You will make legs for monkey to stand stable and wear shoes. You will learn how to set joint mechanisms. Lesson number five. Hands. You will make hands with palms and fingers. Lesson number six. Body. You'll sew the body and prepare it for the mounting of all the other parts. You will make a very cute tail as well. Lesson number seven. A head. You will find out how to connect the parts of the head and sew up first and smooth fabric. How to fill your head to make a perfect face. How to install the attaching mechanisms. Lesson number eight. Sketch. Let's talk about the face painting. You'll learn to draw eyes in the simplest way, even if you've never drawn before. You'll make a sketch on a face. That means the face. Lesson number nine. You will create a monkey face and make her smile with a simple trick. And you will learn as well how to fasten the thread and hide all knots. Lesson number ten. Toning and painting. You will tint the face with pastel. Animate the monkey with a brush and acrylic paints. You will see at your own experience that the painting is very easy. Lesson number 11. Gathering the parts. You will put together all pieces and fix all joint mechanisms. And last but not least, lesson number 12. Bottom fastening. If you don't have pins, you can attach the pose with buttons. You will learn two different ways of button mounting. You will also have monkey PDF patterns and patterns of all clothes and shoes. So, what you are going to buy? A step-by-step -step video tutorial in English, compatible with Windows and Microsoft, monkey PDF pattern, instant download after payment, in English, PDF pattern or simple but very glamorous clothes and shoes for the monkey, instant download after payment, compatible with Windows and Microsoft in English. Uh, traditionally, during our festival, I make a discount. Its price is 39.50 euros or 44.30 US dollars. Thanks a lot for being with me today. Thanks a lot for your attention to my video tutorial. I am so pleased to introduce my new video course to you. Thanks a lot for your presence. Have a good evening, have a good day. Good luck in your handicraft businesses. Bye, see you soon. Thanks a lot, Irina. Thank you. 